Hello friends, this is Rajiv Sharma, political commentator and explainer of things around you. Let's talk about uh, the Delhi uh, Assembly elections uh, which falls due on February 8th. Results will be out on February 11th. This is the, this is the most uh, unique election which we are witnessing, unprecedented. The kind of gutter level politics which is being adhered to this time. This was never seen. Uh, responsible leaders, MPs, ministers, they have come down to I don't know what kind of level. Now, consider the, the highly objectionable remarks being made. They are, they are flying like they are flying like missiles around. And uh, the Bosch talk, the constitutional body like election commission is silent. Delhi police is just uh, uh, witnessing the entire spectacle like a mute spectator. This is something amazing. For example, now, if you see uh, an MP calls uh, Arvind Kejriwal, Delhi chief minister, a terrorist. Now, this has been supported by a minister. Prakash Javadekar, who further explains, not only calls uh, Kejriwal uh, a terrorist, but he further explains, yes, because he himself has gone on record saying, describing himself as an anarchist, and there is no difference between an anarchist and a terrorist. What kind of a logic is this? How can you call chief minister of state terrorist? Highly irresponsible. What is Delhi Police doing? What has Delhi, Delhi, what has election commission done so far? Secondly, there have been three firing incidents in the last four days in Jamia Media, in Shaheen Bagh. And where are we? Delhi police as usual. What we saw in JNU violence. The FIR was filed against uh, the student uh, union president who was injured, not against uh, those who actually inflicted injury on her. We don't still don't have any any clue what has happened there. Now, very recently, there was another amazing development, like uh, a school in Karnataka staged anti-citizenship amendment act play and just because they they staged that play anti-CEA play uh, sedition case was filed against the school and the, and the children this is what is happening this is tolerance intolerance by other means now I don't know uh, yes Delhi election is important probably vital for the big two parties, obviously, though the, because they will be gainers. Uh, Congress was zero last time out of 70. Uh, BJP was three out of 70 last time. So one expects that both of them will make some vertical growth. But the real thing is whether AAP will be, conti will be able to continue its magic and, and have 67 seats as they did last time out of 70. So obviously they will come down. But now the vital point is that the entire debate, the entire narrative here has been BJP has, it's a, it's a tussle, Congress is nowhere, frankly. It's a, it's a fight between AAP and BJP. Rather, let me put it this way, it's a fight between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chief Minister K. Dwyer. Now, BJP's tactics, shoot and scoot tactics, are very familiar now. This time, also, Shaheen Bagh is the fulcrum of the narrative. Shaheen Bagh is being is, is being described as uh, a mini Pakistan by BJP leaders who are come, coming here for campaigning. Yogi Adityanath and uh, so many people who have come here and, and delivered uh, highly inflammatory speeches and the election commission is watching everything silently. Now, if if this BJP tactics of 
polarizing the entire election succeed this time in delhi election assembly election, election 2020 just as it had succeeded wonderfully well for the bjp in the up election assembly election in 2017 when the party got uh, over 322 seats it is to be seen but in delhi if this if bjp were to repeat this polarization tool and instrument successfully it will be cause for some worry because delhi is a microcosm of india delhi is cosmopolitan let's see uh, we will see which political party stands where we will get to know on february 18 february 11th when the results are out uh, i'll be back again that day to update you and give you my analysis on who won who wins and why